Hi guys. Hi everybody. This video is for Noah, my friend. Strange times in the world right now. A lot's going on. I think we should put our faith in God and uh, love each other. Stop the hating, the hatred, and the selfishness. I have a friend and we talk to each other for years now. And I'm sure there's stuff we don't agree on and disagree on. But you know what? There's stuff me and my family disagree on. There's stuff me and my kids disagree on. I think when Jesus walked this earth 2,000 years ago, he didn't hang out with big donors and the big money class. You know, the powerful power brokers, the political elite, celebrities. He hung out with whores and drunkards, the losers like me. And uh, that's who he loved. He wanted in his family. We're like rebels, like Star Wars, the Rebel Alliance. We rebel against God. We're all rebels. Remember in the Matrix, when uh, the guy told Neo, that blonde girl, and he looked and turned around and it was a Mr. Smith? That's how we rebels are. You know, God looks at us like we're all against him, unless we come to him through Christ and reconciled. He wants a family. He wants a family. You know, I struggle with all kinds of stuff. I struggle not with my faith. I believe in God because it's just so crazy, man. I mean, to believe that there was no evolution or aliens, there was a God before the heavens and earth, a God. Where was the God? What did he look like? I know he's powerful enough to speak stuff into existence. I can't even speak an ice cube into existence. But I just think stuff's getting bad, you know? I mean, people are so corrupt and hypocritical. There's so much violence. It's like de it's like a culture of death. We like to see grown men beat each other and we just make guns and weapons and we ship out pornography and drugs and alcohol. It's like, it's like we're on a fast track to death. You know, it's like a death society. But uh, where does God tell us? He, he says, love your neighbor like I loved you. Forgive your neighbor like I forgive you. You know, I don't believe God loves us just the way we are. We're broken toys. And I think it's people like me and my wife and other people who realize that and you get help and you walk through the baggage in your life. We all have baggage. Some people are better at hiding it, you know. They don't ever look at someone and think they're better than you. They're not. They're not better than you. We all are these flesh, disgusting bodies with a magnificent spirit inside, a spark. And there is another life after this a spiritual life, and we're gonna be there someday. I think it's gonna be glorious and magnificent. You know, but people cheapen life so much. It's like they look down on people. I've been looked down on in my life. The wrong house in town, the wrong family, work at the wrong job, you know. It's just how people are. We're prideful, we're selfish, we're unforgiving, we're hateful, we're vengeful. We're a mess. But I want you to hang in there. I want you to feel confident. God loves you. I love you. Stuff's happening for a reason. It can't go on like this. What are we all going to do? Kill each other and destroy the world? There's got to be something better than this. You know, there's a better world than this. But hang in there. And if you feel like it, pray to God. If you don't, don't. You know, I have no control over many and I just have to take care of Rick and his family. But I want you to know, I care about you. I don't want anything to happen to you. I love you. It's a dangerous world. Be careful and love each other. That's all. Thanks for watching this. Bye.